Okay, Nick, the morning after the cup, how are you feeling? I couldn't be feeling better. Um, was such an exciting day, obviously, um, with this challenging year everyone's had. Uh, for our horse to come out and do what he did yesterday, it was uh, it was a real highlight. You speak of the challenges everyone's had this year. What was it like not being there on track yesterday? Well, I think we were just lucky that you know the race was this week, not three weeks ago, and you know we would have all been having to sit at home and watch it in our, our lounge rooms, but we were able to get together as an ownership group and and celebrate or commiserate, and uh, fortunately things fell our way. What were you thinking during the, the race? Couldn't have been happier during the race. You know, it probably went as smoothly uh, knowing the plan for that horse. Is there any Melbourne Cup we've had anything to do with? It was, uh, you know, it takes a bit of luck out of it when you're up the front. You're not, you're not going to strike bad luck as long as the jockey gets the pace right and the horse is good enough to take him there. It was a brave and bold tactic with the horse. On the shoulders of a young jockey, you must have been really pleased. I thought it was unbelievable that you know Joseph and Jai had spoke, spoken about uh, the tactics three or four times over the la over the last four or five days, and I think that uh, they got it right, and uh, you know that was that's terrific. And but yeah, you know if if it goes wrong, it could there'd be a lot of people saying what was he doing. So you know it took a lot of courage for Jai to follow through on those instructions, and he did a great job. Speaking of Jai, it must be a big thrill for you guys to give such a young rider this opportunity that effectively changes his life yeah well it, it is and uh you know he's a great young rider um he'll be he'll be he'll be he'll be one of the top guys here for a long time to come he's he's you've only got to look at the success he's had over this spring and and the last 18 months he's he's really as good he's 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 an absolute top liner Speaking of young, talented people, Joseph O'Brien delivers you a second cup for him. That's a, an amazing effort. Amazing effort at 27 years of age, isn't it? And he's, uh, he's a marvel. The, all the O'Brien family we're, we're close to, and uh, I'm so thrilled for them all. Uh, they live and breathe the horses uh, more, more than anyone I've ever met in the world. And, uh, and you know, I've got to say that uh, for the whole family, I'm just ecstatic. You and your dad have an insatiable appetite for winning this race. Tell us why that is and what it means to you. Well, there's only one race. There's only one race in the world that's referred to as the race that stops a nation, and that saying's probably a little out of date now because really it's the race that stops the world. You know, everyone that knows anything about horses is is glued to their television for the Melbourne Cup these days. It's one of the premier premier events in the world. Um, you know, it's the it's the one event we've got down here in this part of the world that is truly in the uh, top echelon of races. And, uh, you know, it, it's it's just, it's so hard to win. So it's uh, it's exciting when sometimes you get the chance. Your dad's won it seven times. How's he feeling? Well, he's just chuffed and he's so proud of uh, Jai and, and Joseph and all the team. Mark Power, who's the travelling foreman, and Sean, who look at, looks after the horse, they've just done a wonderful job. And, uh, you know, we're, just, we're, we're, we're all thrilled for them. The horse is here, he looks bright as a button. What's the plan with him going forward? When they win, they always look bright as a button. Um, you know, this horse started started his year in Saudi Arabia in January. Um, it's probably He's probably due for a, bit, for a well-earned break, I think. And uh, over the next little while, we'll sit down with Joseph and work out a plan on what he does ne next year. There has been some criticism of the Werribee Quarantine Centre. They did have a reasonable day yesterday training the trifecta in the Melbourne Cup out of here. What are your thoughts? Um, look, it's it, it's it's obviously very different to what the horses are used to in uh, in uh, in Europe. But uh, overall, very fortunate at Werribee because we got we got a fella called Paul Downs, and he he prepares the track as well as any person anywhere in this country. So, uh, apart from the track's geographical constraints, it's uh, it's one of the best surfaces that the horses could ever work on the grass here. So, um, but it is a tight track, and uh, that's something that neither Racing Victoria or uh, or Paul can deal with because it's it's you know constrained by uh, what it is but but the actual surface we've got is second to none. So now it's back to doing your homework and hatching a plan to win the cup again next year? Indeed it started already.